Hey you guys, welcome back to another video here on Geneva's Creative Crazy Life. Today, I wanted to bring you guys um, the backdrop from for the Dr. Seuss thing, winning thing, two party. And as you can see behind me, I've already set up, started to set up my backdrop stand. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to try to bring the camera down so you can see it. And... I'm about to start doing the backdrop to try to figure out what way I want to go with that. So, here I have the Dr. Seuss backdrop that I showed you guys in a previous video with the Dr. Seuss thing when the thing two party uh, video. So, if you haven't checked that out, then make sure you go and check that video out. I uploaded it. I think it was about two days ago. But I haven't opened this. This is my first time opening this to see how big it is. It's a 7 by 5 foot backdrop. So, this is pretty big, you guys. Um, but it's a standard size backdrop. I think it goes like this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and lay this on over on the backdrop because you know how I do my backdrop. I um pin them on. I used to hot glue them on, but I found that the pins are easier because you can just take them out and fold it up to store it after you're done with it. So let me grab my pins and I'll be right there. I'm back. I flipped the backdrop around because I had it upside down, but now it's right side up. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my red panels, sequin panels, and my light blue sequin panels. I'm going to put two on that side. I may do one. Yeah. No, I'm going to do two on that side and two on that side. I'm going to do the blue on the end since the blue is already on the corner. So I'm going to do the red first. Ouch. <clears throat> Decorating is very painful sometimes, you guys. You bump your hands, you burn your hands on the hot glue gun. People just don't understand how hard it is on event planners and decorators sometimes. Everything turns out pretty, but they don't see the hard work that goes into it. Now I'm going to add the baby, the light blue panel.
always wait to the end. You know, when it's full, it's a little bit of heat. Just straighten it out. Now I'm going to add these to the other side. Let me turn the camera a little bit. I think I slept wrong last night, you guys. I have like a crick in my neck. And my shoulder and my neck is stiff. On the right side. I sleep so crazy sometimes. And I have a lot of pillows on my bed. And that's not a good thing. Because my body isn't straight when I sleep. It's all curved up. Bent, bent up different ways. Okay, got those on. Straighten that out. When it's puffed up, make sure it's evened out. Okay. And as you guys can see, that's how it's looking so far. I have the baby, the light blue and red panels on the ends, and I finally have it right side up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my table in front of it, and I'm going to see how I'm going to decorate the table. So I'll be right back. Hey, you guys, I'm back with the update on the Dr. Seuss Thing 1 and Thing 2 party. I'm showing you guys the Chiara boards that I have designed for the party. And right now they're not put together. I just decorated them with with some character um, images of Dr. Seuss and thing one and thing two. This is the red one. As you can see, it has Dr. Seuss on it and a picture of Cat in the Hat. And over here, I, in the on the tall one, I have Dr. Seuss. And I have a picture of the twins right there. I put their faces inside of the um, thing one and thing two image. And I got some more images on this. I wrapped it with some material, some plastic material that had the characters on it. And this is the white one with the, the thing one and thing two characters. And I have thing one thing two uh, symbols on the white one and then when I assembled them all together standing up on the stands and put the balloons around them then you'll get the full effect of it and this like I showed you earlier this is the backdrop I moved it out to my garage because I didn't have any more room in my kitchen and my office is full so I'm working out of the garage right now but I'm going to add the balloon garland to this backdrop and I'm going to have the striped, the red and white striped table skirt and the red and white tablecloth, plastic tablecloth that you saw in the first video I uploaded on this um, thing. And you'll get the full effect of this as well once I get to the venue tomorrow night. And I will try to video. Like I always say, I'll try to video the process of me setting everything up when I get to the venue tomorrow night. So you guys stay tuned because this is going to be a cute little thing and I can't wait to show you guys how it turns out. If you haven't liked, comment, and subscribe, subscribe and become a member of this family. We would love to have you. And hit that uh, notification bell for future uploads because I told you I have a lot of content coming up and you don't want to miss it. Until next video, God bless you guys.
feel nothing. So when you start getting sober, you start feeling again. I wrote my son a Hey y'all, I'm giving you an update on the party. Um, I'm on my way down here to the venue to start setting up for tomorrow. But I just wanted to update you guys on what I've been doing. I didn't have time to stop and video every little thing that I did. But I'm going to show you guys while I'm still at home what I've done. If you hear any noise in the background, I'm sorry. My family is in here with me right now. But um, I went ahead and decorated the Chiara board. And I did a little changes to them. I went ahead and did I went ahead and did the number two mosaic balloon with the colorful balloons in it. And I added some Dr. Seuss um, images on it. And I got my two um, two pedestals that I um, made. I have some Dr. Seuss materials around it. I took one of them off of the green Chiara board and put it on this cylinder table. And this square table, I got a Dr. Seuss sign on it. And I'm going to take you guys over here. I've ironed my tablecloth. And this is the welcome sign that I'm going to have at the front of the door. And I'm going to put balloons all around it. I thought I was going to break. Over here, this is the balloons my mom blowed up. Say hey, mama. Hey. I didn't want to miss Mama blowed up the some of the balloons. This is not all of them. Say hey, just go. Mama. <laughs> she always a hater. But um, the balloons are blown up. Everything is ready to go. I'm just waiting on my husband to pick up the photo that I'm gonna add to the backdrop. And all of this stuff right here is going down there. I got cotton candy and all of that stuff in here. Down here I got my chair sashes and my red charger plates. And I think that's about it. And tomorrow I'm going to do some Rice Krispie Treats Oreos and and that's it. Rice Krispie Treats and Oreos tomorrow. I do those in the morning so they'll be fresh. But I will see you guys at the venue and I'll show you guys how everything turned out. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, we're down here at the venue and we're currently setting up everything. Um, some areas of the room is dark and we don't have the chair covers on yet. But I'm giving you guys a preview of what we have going on right now. And I'm, I'm finishing up the backdrop. It's not done. That's the treat section. That's the um the clean section and the guest table. That's mama over there doing what she always do, blowing up. Yeah. And my husband over there in the dark corner laying on the phone like he always do. But when we get done, I will be back to let you guys know and let you guys see what it looks like. So stay tuned.